guys in the previous part we did see about the sales order and customers etc so now let's have a quick exploration of uh, the sales quotation process in dynamic 365 so we know about sales order in general very high level and we also know about the customer in a high level we of course will dig deeper into customer and sales order shortly but before getting into any further into the sales order we need to at least understand about a sales quotation the sales quotation is a document which comes uh, even before the creation of a sales order as the name is quite self-explanatory, it is a quote that we are quoting to the customer in a form of maybe a report and the customer reviews the quotation report that we are either giving in a form of a hard copy to the customer or we are emailing it to the customer and when the customer agrees to the quote and discounts on the quote, then uh, we will go ahead and convert the quote into a sales order and then we will convert uh, uh, and then we will go ahead with our regular sales process so that is a concept of a code as it is very self-explanatory i don't think so i need to explain it any further so now let's go create a quote and let's see how do we convert a quote into a sales order and what are the other uh, features that are available within a quote so uh, the quotation can be created from here like from the sales and marketing module all quotation so the system will take you to the all quote screen. I think I've created only one quote before this session in the system so far. So you will see a table view with just one quote. Uh, so let's create a new fresh quote, uh, brand new quote. So when you are clicking on the new button, the quote creation form opens up and the quote creation form by default uh, shows prospect here. We also have customer. If you choose prospect, then this will actually uh, show the prospect uh, drop down that is it will show the prospect records that are available in the system at the moment we do not have any prospects so it is blank uh, if you choose a customer here then the system will show you the customers that are available in the system so customer we know what is it prospect is a stage one step before a, uh, being a customer converting into a customer meaning it is it could be a lead in our example we know adc motor is an automotive dealership so in an automotive dealership we have multiple uh, customers or multiple leads that are coming into the dealership in a form of uh, a person suddenly showing up and he wants to do a test drive in the system and he's repeatedly coming one or two times to the dealership and inquiring the price and doing a test drive so which means that he's pretty serious about buying a car but still he is not yet a customer because he still did not committed to buy a car so he's still in a stage of maybe asking a quote or in a stage of a lead so in such cases we we configure him as a prospect in the system and if he's still a prospect then we choose a prospect as an account type and then provide him with the uh, quotation report uh, so he can later decide whether to be uh, buying a car or not once he buys a car obviously the prospect will be converted into a customer okay so that is the concept of prospect we will see about the prospect flow later let's first continue with the customer we only have one customer in the system so i'll choose that uh, this is the data that is coming from the customer uh, which is the delivery address of the customer source like it, these are some additional information that you can capture so you can right click view details and create sources uh, that is this is how does this uh, quotation origin right so that would be the source and uh, customer acquisition reference number and system will automatically link an opportunity to a quote as well based on the parameter you can even uh, uh, system automatically even creates an opportunity and links it to the quote based on the account receivable parameter so uh, in such cases the opportunity will be linked with the quote automatically and you have a requested date ship date so a lot of field here are quite similar to the fields that you see in a sales order so let's now go and click on ok button and the system says should the, should the record opportunity record be created i say yes so system automatically creates an opportunity and link it across the uh, sales quotation <clears throat> so the quotation is created uh, it also has a header and the line view in the header view you will have most of the fields inherited from the customer in the line view is where you will have all the uh, items that are part of the quote and uh, the line details view you will have a line specific properties which are specific to each of the lines that we have added in the sales quotation 
so let's uh, try to just add an item and we will code that item to the customer and as soon as you add an item the unit price the discount and everything is automatically flowing in from the line discount total discount uh, that we have set up for that particular item so once we have all of this ready then the first step would be to send the code to the customer obviously so to see whether the customer is satisfied with the price or not right so first let's refresh it so the price gets so the send button gets enabled so once you refresh the send button is enabled so you go ahead and send the code to the customer you can even uh, print the quotation so let's try to print it it could take some time because i'm printing it for the very first time so let's print it and send and even the send can trigger an automatic email to the customer if you're configuring outlook parameters in the fno system and the uh, email will automatically send this report to the customer to get his confirmation or you can download this report and you can also send manually to the customer so the report is in general has the company address the customer address uh, the version number of the quote which is in this case version one uh, the payment terms the quote expiry date uh, which in this case is 2023 uh, so all these are uh, uh, available in the quotation report let's close the report so the quotation is sent to the customer so now let's say after the reviewing the quote the customer is not really very happy with the uh, with the price so the customer wants some revision with the price in such cases you can also do the revision uh, directly here maybe instead of 320 he wants 330 uh, sorry 330 he wants 320 so we can also do the revision here and you can even see the revision history in the quotation journal this was a previous price that we have already sent to the customer now let's do 220 instead of 230 because customer is asking for some additional uh, reduction and then sending it to the customer so again i have turned on the report so there will be a new report printed which will be sent to the customer in this case it is for 220 so just in case if you haven't printed the report it's fine you can still always go in here and uh, print the report from here uh, journals tab you will have the original preview if you go to the lines or header section you will find the document number here as version 2 because I have made some changes to the price and that's the version 2 you can even go to the options and um, uh, go to grid view so you will find both the uh, uh, the the sent quotation this version one and this is version two you can even print review or print a copy of both the versions uh, from here <coughs> okay so the quote is sent to the customer and now the customer is happy with this price so now we will be able to go and say based on whether the customer confirmed it or cancelled it so let's say the customer in this case have confirmed the quote so <coughs> the quote is confirmed and the quotation uh, while confirming the quote it is also possible to capture a reason code which can be a kind of used for reporting purpose later to track the reason for losing and reason reason for getting selected and all that so uh, i do not have anything here so uh, price let's say that's a reason for winning the deal okay so that's done so once you have confirmed the code meaning that when the customer has confirmed the code then the system will automatically go and create a sales order which you can access from this particular area in the system if you 
check this out you will find the sales order where the, actually the trade agreement price was 230 but since the sales order is inherited from a sales quote it's also inheriting all the pricing from the sales quotation and um, you, in, you can even see the quotation confirmation journals from the sales order here okay so if you check the header you will find the version 2 here as well so it's also possible to access it from the sales order directly okay so this is a simple process of a sales quote and converting it into a, a sales order so now let's uh, try the next scenario where we will be creating a sales quote from a prospect so now let's explore the quotation process with the help of a prospect so let's click on new button prospect but we do not have a prospect so view detail let's create a prospect Uh, that's the prospect uh, let's keep it as uh, WB oh sorry any name UMWB limited let's say um, and this is uh, there's no type I think I have to create a type um let's just add a type prospect just go back and tag it here and uh, all these are informations good to good to add um let's just put this one and uh, just uh, go ahead and save it so a uh, majority of the fields that you see in the prospects are uh, similar to that of uh, that you have seen in the customer so just let's expand and um, one of the important field that you need to fill is the customer group so let me see where it is because without customer group it will become impossible for us to convert a prospect into a customer so that's a minimum requirement in a prospect record other than that nothing is mandatory you um, uh, once you map the customer group you're good so just map it save and you're good so that's your prospect okay so now let's go and try to continue with the quote because we have a prospect now and uh, that's the address that is coming from the prospect warehouse that's a local currency so you have created a quote again the same thing so let's add the same item let me just select the item yeah that one um so the pricing is all coming from the agreement as usual so next step is going to be send the quote i don't want to print again so the quote is sent to the customer let's say the customer is asking for some additional discount than the discount that is already in the line uh, so in such cases it is also possible for us to do the price simulation I think you can even open it from the line update uh, let me see not line update I think inventory let me click uh, it's not in the inventory yeah here simulate price <laughs> You can also simulate the price uh, in this case is 230 go to the simulate price so it automatically populates uh, your um, 
uh, your margin, your amount, and everything. So you, it is possible for you to just try to say that to reduce your margin a bit because the customer is asking for additional discount. So in such cases, you can play around with your margin. You can compromise your margin and give some additional discount to the customer and uh, just save it and uh, click on apply price simulation and that will be applied to the to the sales uh, sales quotation line so it is not only just that you are changing your margin and the price is changing you can even change the play, play around with the price so system automatically changes the margin or even the contribution ratio so all of that you can change pretty much and play around with the price simulator so once you simulate the price and you are uh, okay with your margin and you are offering a new price to the customer, uh, in such cases then you will be again sending the new quote to the customer. <clears throat> so the quote is sent and now the customer is happy with the quote. Um, the customer is uh, ready to go ahead and confirm it. But you go here and see that the confirmation button is not enabled because still the prospect cannot be a part of a sales order because if i confirm the quote will be converted into a sales order and the sales order record obviously need a customer but the sales quotation is not having a customer it's only having a prospect right so before we go and confirm this quote we have to convert the prospect into a customer so to a customer i say yes okay so the customer is created and it follows a number sequence because for us the customer is having automatic number sequence so i'm just exiting out of the customer and you see that the customer group is also inherited from the prospect where we tag the customer group and now we can go and confirm uh, again the reason if you want you can key in and say okay and this time uh, you will see that there is a sales order associated with this particular quote and that particular sales order will have a new uh, price that is coming from the sales quote. So the price that we have simulated from using a simulator and we have provided with some additional discounts. You can even have a view of the totals where you will see all that changes in the price and the line discount amount and the final price that's been proposed and the margin that we have compromised and everything is also available for you in the totals form both in the quotation side and the sales order side so on a high level note this is about the sales quotation process in microsoft dynamic 365 so let's dig further about uh, the sales order and other related areas in the system shortly